So, my little sister and her boyfriend and his brother and his mother and their kid, well, it's not my sister's kid, but you know, she's raised him for 10 years, it counts. They all went to Niagara Falls. So that, that is where they are right now. They took my other sister's van so everybody could fit. But while we were at the post office today, my sister was telling me how she booked a trip to Niagara Falls a year ago. She just picked like the cheapest flight she could find and um, that was how it worked out. So in like a month or so, she's gonna be going on a plane trip to Niagara Falls from the Canada side. And she just so happened to, at that time, get a free passenger ticket. My little sister, who is in Ni Niagara Falls right now at this moment, was supposed to go on that trip with her. But since she had her trip moved up to go with her boyfriend and their family, I, with my new passport, I'm going to be taking that ticket. I'm going to fly on a plane, not jump out of the plane. I'm just going to fly on it. But it is a chance to use my passport and work on the heights thing. And it just so happened, like she didn't even, she didn't even remember that was a thing until we were talking about Niagara Falls on the way to the library today. It's funny how these things work out, you know. She just so happened to have an extra free plane ticket. It's pretty cool. <sighs> I've dyed my hair again. I tried a different toner this time though. I'm, I'm hoping it didn't come out red, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see. It recommended, it, it was a different strength though, so like it recommended using it multiple times, but um, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to grow my hair out or if I'm going to continue cutting it. I haven't decided. I'm just making these decisions step by step. Little plant chicken though. We've got one cute little clover here. All the other ones are still kind of ugly, but there's one clover who looks normal. I'm taking that as a win. It says to me that the re the next round of clovers are gonna be cute. And I still haven't decided whether I'm trying to clip this or not. Ooh, I'm all pruny. I was in the shower a really long time today. Mostly because of the shampoos, but you know, I do be in the shower a lot. My cilantro keeps getting dug up. That's cute though. My chive I think is dead. Man, what are the odds of that though? Things just worked out. I wasn't even supposed to turn in my application today for the passport. We wouldn't have talked about that at all. But I just, I happened to be walking by the table where my application was and I was like, oh hey, when do you have time? We should probably get that on the books. She's like, let's go right now. So, <laughs> We fucking went and did it and had the conversation about Niagara and now I'm going on a trip. So I get to be anxious about planes. Um, my sister gets her car back from the shop on Tuesday so I'm going to be, my sister said that I'm going to be the only person driving anywhere for the foreseeable future. As soon as we get the car, my ass is in that seat. I'm nervous but it's going to be okay. It's gotta be okay. Coping mechanisms. It's really nice out today. I'm happy I got to spend some of it outside. Saw dragonflies again. Beautiful day. I don't know. I feel like the roots do look a little bit darker, but I only put the, um, there's a new brand of bleach that said it was stronger too. So I only left it on for about 10 minutes. As opposed to normally what I would I would do 20 minutes. I guess it looks the same. It might just be because it's wet, but I say that every time. Yeah. Maybe we should do a reading. I'm about to work out after this. Emperor and the Nine of Cups on the split. <sighs> Emperor Nine of Cups. Well, wish fulfillment. And we all know what the emperor means. I don't need to go on about that. Divine masculine. What do we need to know, spirit? Tower. Upward spiral ascension. Ooh, I'm getting nine of cups. This is a wish fulfillment. This is no pain, no gain kind of energy. You have to go through towers in order to transition into the next elevation. There might be some growing pains happening right now. Six of cups, or six of wands though, I'm getting that um, this is a victorious situation and it may be in regards to love. 
whatever the um, growing pains were, let's see, Queen of Swords, I thought we were going to chill out spirit with all the King and Queen of Swords love reading stuff, I need a break, Knight of Pentacles, well, I guess needing a break is a strong word because nothing's happened. <laughs> I'm literally just minding my business over here. I'm focusing on me and my next step. Temperance and the Hierophant though. It could be the masculine King of Swords. It could be the masculine that was going through these growing pains. I haven't seen anything from him in a day or so. Been busy. Slingshot. It may be a pullback so we, that you can uh, slingshot forward, but we've got the King of Swords lined up with the Upward Spiral and the Nine of Cups, and then we've got the Hierophant with the Tower and the Upward Spiral. Then we've got the Slingshot with the Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So this is insinuating that either my King of Swords or somebody's King of Swords has been in an energy of tower moment but it feels like a positive tower it feels like a tower that had to happen for growth uh, getting like warp drive from star trek or something you know where they like lag out a little bit and the back end of the ship is just over here and then zip, they turn into fucking light and you know spiders have been a big forward movement for for this relationship this situation whatever you want to call it uh, mystery connection creation that is lining up with the six of wands and the ace of cups it seems like the foundation is set here and the healer energy work harnessing the cosmic life force that is the ace of cups the queen of swords and our energy work here we have been doing a lot of energy work lately we've been trying different techniques should i go over that no i don't need to go over that this is sweat by the way super awesome i'm about to work out but it is hot as Fuck, I haven't even worked out yet, and I'm like sweating bullets. <sighs> I need to, um, I got this like spray foam stuff. My sister got the spray foam stuff. I'm gonna try and seal up the, um, the foundation in the sunroom where I hang out all day. So basically, once I make sure all the crevices and cracks around the baseboards and everything are sealed and totally like airtight, um, we can hook up the ventilation system, which already exists, it's just not actually hooked up. We can hook up the ventilation system to the main house. So it will be air conditioned in the sunroom, which would be pretty damn awesome. But like, I was in Georgia for five years without AC. I'm not really bothered by the heat. This is just where I spend like 90% of my day. It's no, no different than it was there. El the elephant, innocence. And I'm just noticing, I think this is the first time I've noticed since we got the new cards, this just says the elephant now, not the baby elephant. I guess if I had an adult elephant and a baby elephant in the deck, it would make more sense to leave the word baby in there. But this is about innocence and fun and happiness. This is the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles taking a fun, happy, light approach to this relationship or situation or whatever it is. Because, Earth Angel, our purpose... The way things are lining up right now is it's coming together one step at a time. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. The synchronicities are relentless and our purpose is lining up in a way that we can't argue with. And the situations that we're finding ourselves in, like this random plane ticket my sister has right after we spontaneously go, you know, the way that this day worked out, it couldn't have happened any differently, especially with all of our fucking dragonflies leading the charge over here. The amount of energy, Empress, we're ending on the Empress after starting with the Emperor. The amount of energy that Spirit's put into validating how we're feeling about this entire situation right now has been impressive because fireflies, flickers of hope in the darkness. There has been some days where I'm just like confused and I don't know. But then I look back at every single sign that pointed me here how sure I've been starseeds awakening and the only way that you can possibly get lost is if you start doubting yourself don't doubt yourself don't doubt spirit don't doubt your person it's all gonna work out We've got the three of Pentacles here those flipped around 